smooth. Um, I use it because you can also use your stomach to kind of help uh, pull on a little bit. So it's pretty basic. It pulls you down a little bit. That's you do. Jason Ike uh, did this a couple times. And he got me in it. I fought, I fought through it and my neck was sore for several days. Instead of driving my car, instead of just turning real quick and looking, I had to move my whole body. So, I mean, it's a basic one. We'll go with something else here after this, but um, like I said, there's not much to it. There's not a lot of intelligence or whatever. It's just something. And I think probably the more he fights it, the more pressure it puts on, your, on his neck. And like we said, we just learned that this stuff, don't fight, just use your elbows in here as a fulcrum. I like tighten up the muscle and it give more strength. We've all seen this choke here. But I was thinking, like say, lay awake at night. Okay, and sometimes I used to use this in Jackson to steal his air. air. I just put my elbows right in here. And, you know, suck my air out. But I was thinking, if he can do this, why can't I just break his wrist out? I won't do it because it's really sore. And your stomach is stronger than his wrist. So why can't I just lock this in real quick? I mean, it's not much technique to it because it makes him thinking. He's always doing something fancy, but now he has to think about a real, a really, I don't know, easy technique that he has to respect. I think both of these were first techniques are just respect. It's right here. Um, another one, like I say, we've all, we have all done this choke here. If he's going to fight, start fighting your wrists. But so instead of maybe going for the choke, why can't you just go to the wrist right there instead and kind of abandon this choke? So that's a very, another very simple technique. We did this with the Eli stuff, so it's very simple. You can go up underneath here if you like to. Right here. Yeah, and you're fighting me or whatever, and you make a mistake, I just slip right in here. I mean, we've all done it. I mean, I think we just kind of forget about how easy it really is. And then again, the same, I'm kind of thinking about this, again, if I pull him in, he can go back and grab my neck. So again, you almost have to, it's both these techniques, you have to really simple, but you have to respect it, because it doesn't take much. So I'm trying to get in, so you know, so he might get my neck. So they kind of go hand in hand in a way. Well, we'll just do these uh, techniques with this wrist lock real quick because he's going to steal my air. But he's not, you know, or maybe I'm having a problem. But why can't you just do this real quick and put some uh, discomfort in his wrist? So he has to respect you that much more. Yeah. Jason Air is going to was trying to steal my air, but I did. I got tired of it. So I just thought I'd take a real quick wrist lock on him. And my, and my stomach muscles are stronger than his wrist. So I grab you grab one, 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 two. That's something you've had to do and you've been doing both at the same time. Uh, another one that we've talked about, we've all had this choke right here. And you reach up underneath here and choke him out. But instead of going for the choke, you can always slip in here grab this wrist instead of this way. And again, the wrist goes, it causes discomfort either way. If he's too strong this way, he overcompensates. You can, I won't do it to him because I know it hurts. You can always crank him back. You can always crank him back the other way. Whatever, whatever he allows you to do. I know it's getting tender.
grab on here, I'll keep walking. But it's, we've done it a jillion times. You know, pretty soon he's going to get tired of me putting paint on him. He's going to push my knee off, and then I'm going to hit this, put on his bicep here. I'll stay off there because it, it hurts a lot. We've all done it. But again, I just kind of refresh it, right kind of, you know, refreshing everybody's mind. We'll go, we'll do the knee to the chest, you know, until you get used to that, keep your balance. You know, we can put, really put a, inflict a lot of pain, but we don't want to do that. Because it's perfect form. Keep your eyes up, look down, pull, and then he'll pull you down and stuff. That just puts more pressure on him. I can probably lift this back leg up so all like 230 pounds is right on his knee, pretty much right there in the middle of the stomach. So again, we're doing this real quick. I'll be, I'm, the, I'm trying to keep up uh, from hurting him, but real quick, your legs out here, look it up. But keep this leg back so you're not, not helping support your weight. And that, that's where you're doing the key. Sorry. Put it back here so you have 235, 40 pounds right here in the middle of his chest. And you help him hold on with his lapel. So it's real quick here, I won't hurt him. Right here, he's going to push me off here. I pin that bicep down. I can. If you, if you let me, I'll just take this wrist and lock it right here. Again, I like putting between the knees so it really has no place to go. But if he's going to try to guard me, I'm going to take him over and go right here. Because I'm going to be here, he's going to reach up, I'll slide off. Yep. I'll get this arm somehow here. Another move. And then I get into it. I'll do this about half a dozen times. He's going to push me off here. I'm going to get up here. Then I'm going to get in here. The next one's going to be this leg. Bend his arm back. Oh, we're running out of time. Either one. Right here. I'm going to lock it back here. Both of these are very good. But uh, this start off right here. To the side here. We'll go to the side now. Go here to booty ground. Okay. I pull it in tight. Go right then. Push. We'll start with that one for right now. Then we'll go to the. We both sink a straight arm for this one here. We got forge enough. He bent his arm for us. We're flexible enough to get it down and put it behind our knee. Right there. You all right? Doesn't take much, I'm sorry. Okay. All you're doing is cranking on it. Just taking this, just like bending it like this. You can pull that right knee in. 